Well, do you want to go first, Steve, or shall I? <laughs> uh, I'm going to seriously move into actually starting the conference now. That's right. Yes. Uh, welcome to, uh, to Sazerac, everybody. We're very glad to uh, have you here. And so Steve and I just have a few uh, notes of welcome um, and logistics before we get started with a wonderful slate of science talks. Um, so first, going to introduce ourselves. Uh, I'm Steve Finkelstein. I'm one of the co-chairs of the Sazerac SOC. I'm from the University of Texas at Austin. And I'm Steve Wilkins, uh, again, one of the other co-chairs of the SOC of Sazerac, and I'm from the University of Sussex. We have a wonderful group of uh, SOC members, uh, and they'll be helping us run the conference during the week, uh, but they've also done a lot of work helping us plan the conference, so I just wanted to recognize them very briefly. It's Caitlin Casey from UT Austin, Anson D'Aluzio from California Riverside, Marusha Bradich from California Davis, Ramil Dabe from the University of Edinburgh, Xiao Hui Fan from University of Arizona, Charlotte Mason from the Harvard CFA, Pascal Ush from the University of Geneva, Masame Uchi from the University of Tokyo, Laura Pentarici from the Observatory of Rome, Renske Smith from Liverpool University, Aprajita Verma from Oxford. And so just a reminder why uh, we're actually doing this, and uh, it, it seems a while since we actually planned the conference, but it was beginning to be quite alarming uh, after the pandemic hit uh, when all the in-person conferences were being canceled. And obviously that was very necessary, but uh, for our field and particularly for junior members in our field, that had a very negative consequence. And so uh, uh, Steve and I started talking and brainstorming, how can we give uh, people the opportunity to talk and share their research? And that led to uh, this Sazerac or Summer All Zoom Epoch of Reanimation Astronomy Conference. Uh, and so the goals of Sazerac were to prioritize talks by junior researchers. And we had so many submissions that the only talks we were able to give were by uh, students in their last two years of their PhD or first term postdocs. Um, there are wonderful, wonderful talks by both more junior and both more senior members. And some of them have submitted via YouTube and we'll have them on our website and others may submit posters to the Slack channel. We also wanted to take advantage of the uh, additional time that we now have to prepare our cycle what JDBST proposals by learning about the latest results. And finally, just to bring our community together to share exciting science and have a little semblance of normalcy, if only for a few hours during a day during these unprecedented times. Thanks for that, Steve. Um, so the next thing that we wanted to mention is, is a very sad thing, and that was the recent passing of our friend and colleague, Olivier Lefebvre. Um, I'm sure many people who are in this meeting today have interacted with Olivia over the years, certainly me and Steve have, and I'm sure many other people. Um, so for that reason, we, we really just wanted to dedicate the entire conference to Olivier's memory and we send our condolences to his friends and family. Yes, uh, thank you, Steve. And uh, one other thing we want to acknowledge is um, the movement that's been going across the US which led to the, the original delay of Sazerac. So, uh, the SASRAC SOC just has a small statement we'd like to read, uh, and we're actually going to read it again at the beginning of the, the second session today for those who aren't here. So we've been saddened and deeply troubled to have witnessed the tragic murders of George Floyd, Floyd and Breonna Taylor at the hands of the police and the subsequent use of excessive force against peaceful protesters across the U.S. Systemic racism permeates all aspects of our society, including academia. These current events show why it's incumbent amongst all of us, especially those more privileged, to fight harder for true equality and justice. We originally postponed Sazerac to give our community the time to reflect on how we could work to improve our society. And this delay has provided, hopefully, people space to focus on this crucial issue now. At many of our institutions, these events have led us to examine the deeply embedded systemic barriers to Black, Indigenous, and people of color at all ranks in our departments. It is our hope that this newfound energy to drive structural change does not wane, and we truly move towards a more diverse and inclusive community. During today's break in between the two sessions, we will have a short discussion allowing members of uh, attendees of SASRAC to share ideas of how they are trying to employ such change at their institutions, and uh, we hope to have a follow-up discussion on Wednesday. We also encourage SASRAC participants to engage in uh, the discussions in the Equity and Inclusion Slack channel. Uh, finally, uh, since SASRAC did not have a registration fee, if you're willing and able, we encourage you to donate to anti-racism causes, particularly those which support the Black Lives Matter movement or to volunteer for related activities. Thanks a lot, Steve. So it's now my job to, um, to mention some of the logistics of today. So obviously, I think this is the first time that many of us have maybe engaged with a, a virtual conference in this way, and certainly it's the first time that I've had running one. Um, 
So I think probably the most important thing is questions. We do want questions from the audience. Um, the way that we're doing this was outlined in the email earlier or last week. But the way we're going to do this is via the Slack channels. So if you go to the Slack workspace, there'll be a channel for each session. And within each of those channels, there'll be a thread for each talk. And the chairs will be monitoring those threads for questions. And so do put your questions there. And the chairs will then actually read out those questions at the end of each person's talk. Um, we felt this was the most seamless and efficient way of doing it. And it also allows us to, to keep these questions for later. And so as well as answering them live, we hope that the speakers will also be able to answer them maybe on Slack as well. So people who weren't watching live can also see the answer there as well. Um, just a few other things. So you also see that there are other features on Slack. So we have a technical support channel. So if you are having any problems, um, either as a speaker or as a participant, then do um, send us your concerns there. Obviously, if you can't access Slack, you can feel free just to email us and we can try and figure out. There's also an equity and inclusion um, channel. There is a feedback channel where you can give us feedback on how Sazerac has been run. There are also some themed channels on Slack where people who don't want to submit a recorded talk can also add a poster, a slide or a figure and respond to any questions. So if you do just post a figure, then do provide a, a short description of what you're posting there. And um, if people do ask you a question there, then do please answer it as well. Just a few uh, other other reminders. Uh, so we, in addition to the discussion break today, we do have uh, one plan for every day or sometimes more than one. Uh, we put that in an email last night and we will, uh, I'll post that in the general Slack channel here in just a little bit. And finally, we are about ready to get uh, on with our talks. And so a reminder to everybody, but especially the speakers, the talk slots are 15 minutes. And, and I know we're starting late because Steve and I have, have talked a little bit. So 15 minutes when we start. And uh, the idea is you have about 10 minutes to talk, a couple of minutes for questions, and then a couple of minutes to start the next speaker. Our goal will be to stick to time as much as possible uh, in case people are coming and going to hit particular talks. So with that, I think we are ready to go, unless I missed anything, Steve. No, I think that's everything. 